All right, guys. Um, so I have a presentation today, and I really want to actually explain to you how I trade puts and calls. But I do want to understand a little bit about how you guys have been trading so far. So if you guys wouldn't mind typing in the chat room, have you traded options? Okay, so what I'm doing is I've just posted in the chat room my email, info at shecantrade.com. We're going to go through a lot of information today in a very short period of time. If you have questions about what we're about to discuss uh, later on, you're thinking about it, or you want to have some questions and we can talk a little bit more next week when we meet each other in person, then please feel free to send me an email. I'm happy to talk uh, to, talk to you about and answer any questions that you might have. So I am a professional options trader, and so what that means is I make my living trading in the markets, and I trade from my screen, so from my computer every day. I also do that live. I have a live trading room where I trade with my real money in front of everyone so that they can also benefit from those same trades, uh, and I do a text alert service as well. I'm the author of the book, How You Can Trade Like a Pro, Breaking into Options, Futures, Stocks, and ETFs. Now today's presentation, we're going to really focus on options, and to be quite honest, this is my absolute favorite way to trade. I love trading options. So I swing trade options. So I have a young daughter, she's two years old, um, I have lots of things going on, just as I'm sure all of you do, and I have found that swing trading options gives me the best opportunity to take advantage of moves in the markets, but also to consistently have a nice high profit trades without being stuck looking and staring at how price is moving all of the time. So I have actually put quite a few strategies to the test over the years that I've been trading, and there's a few that I generally rely on most often, and that's because for me, they create the most profitable trades week after week. And of course, all those trades I do live so everybody can see them as well. So I think it's very important uh, as I'm talking to you about everything today that you guys all know that I'm very authentic uh, and very transparent, always showing uh, everything. And in fact, next week when we're together, uh, we're probably I'm actually going to play some trades if something sets up while we're, while we're talking together. And I think that's really the best way. You guys get to see the benefit of me actually placing real trades because um, that's the best way to get an explanation of what's going on and to see it happening for yourself. So I've been all over the place, a lot of my information uh, up on Forbes, I've been interviewed over on the street, uh, Yahoo Finance, and I also have a Masters of Education. And so that makes my approach to explaining the markets very different than anybody else. Um, and I know that because I also used to be a part-time trader. So for any of you who are just beginning trading, I used to do that before and after work and then would go into my job and, and try to watch the markets whenever I could. And then over time, I got to be so good at trading that it didn't really make sense anymore for me to do that job. I quit, and now I just trade, and you know, I pay my bills from the stuff that I'm doing in the market. So very legitimate and authentic. So I'd encourage you guys to go to my website, shecantrade.com, for more information about me if you're looking for that kind of stuff. But we're going to get right into it because they say we don't have a lot of time. So let's get to it. And I, again, by the end of this presentation, you should have some really good nuggets that you can use to apply to your trading tomorrow. Um, so first off, let's talk about charts. So in terms of my approach to trading, what I do is I take kind of a combination of three things. I like to look at charts. I like to be aware of standard deviation and probability. And I also combine that with the options chain. And but by taking all of those three pieces of information and combining them together, that's how I create the consistent trading approach that I have. So typically, I'm probably trading between six and eight trades per week. And by the way, I don't trade Mondays. Um, I don't think you need to. We can talk about that more next week if you guys have questions about it. But I've usually made enough money within four days that I don't need to. So I take a long weekend every week. Um, but by combining the charts the options chain, and the probability, so statistics, I can create this really great uh, approach to trading. So first I want to show you my charts, and you can see here, let me get them up, 
there. Okay. So what you're seeing now are my charts. This is what I use to trade with. So I am technically called a technical an analyst. So I look at how price is behaving on a stock. So in front of you, you have an example here of Apple. And you'll notice that I look at the chart on multiple time frames. So you're seeing me, this is Apple on a weekly chart, a daily chart, a 60 minute chart, and a five minute chart. So this is really important. Charts help me to define a few things. Anytime I'm placing a trade, and especially when I'm doing a directional strategy, so I'm buying a call or I'm buying a put, I really want to have an idea. I want to have a directional bias about the trade. So I could assume that a stock is going to go higher, it's going to go lower, or it's going to go sideways. So the first thing that I think anybody wants to do, regardless of whatever strategy you decide to trade, I believe that by watching charts and just if you just at the most simplest form looked at all the different time frames and said, what direction is that price moving? So let's do it here in, um, in these charts. So this is Apple. So when I look here on the weekly chart, to me it looks like things are moving lower. So from left to right in the chart, I can see that price is moving down. I do the same thing here with the daily chart. From left to right, it looks to me like price is moving down. On the 60 minute, we're basically kind of moving sideways. And then on the five minute, it looks like things are moving down. So you guys can probably all put that together as well. If I look at all of these time frames together in Apple, I'm going to have an assumption that I think that Apple is going to move lower. So right now, it has a trend. It's showing price and showing how price is behaving on multiple different time frames and basically illustrating that we're seeing this stock move lower. So instantly then what I want to do is say, all right, this is moving lower, so I'm going to have a few different ideas of, of how I can place this trade. Obviously, the, the easiest one to think about is buying a put, right? So that's really simple. The beautiful thing about trading options, options versus stocks or options compared to futures, Options allows you to be active in popular stocks like Apple. Everyone, everyone knows what the Apple product is, right? Everybody knows what an iPhone is, or most of you probably have one. Everybody knows what they do, right? They have, that company has ingrained themselves so well in our day-to-day -day lifestyle. So it's nice to be involved in a stock that we, we know, that we're aware of. It's, a call, it's considered a high beta stock. Now, rather than needing a huge, enormous count, account to trade with, I can choose to be involved in the option. The option allows me to trade a, a stock that moves a lot, like Apple, without costing me as much money as it will to be successful buying the stock, right? The option is fantastic. Options allow you to have choices to place trades based on the direction, based on if it's not moving at all, so you can do spreads. Uh, whether there's uh, times with high volatility, low volatility, I mean, there's just so many, so many options with options that, in fact, if you're just learning how to trade options, it can actually be a little overwhelming at the beginning. We have all sorts of crazy terms that we as professional traders talk about all the time. And I can remember when I first started to learn to trade, now granted that was a while ago, um, but when I was learning, I used to get so confused with the terms. So that's why I wrote the book that I did. So my book, How You Can Trade Like a Pro, defines a lot of the terms that are discussed. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure if you went out and Googled options trading, especially for many of you who are just learning how to trade, when you Google a term, so let's say you want to Google volatility to find out what that means. I have noticed, and you guys will notice the same thing once I mention this to you, that all of the different websites about trading all define the terms the exact same way, and they don't actually really explain what that means. So I wrote a book, How You Can Trade Like a Pro. I just broke down all the barriers, used common language so people can actually understand what we're talking about. And I tried to really simplify trading in a way that works for me because this is how I'm paying my bills. And two, is something that other people can learn how to do as well. To me, it's not about being secret. I'm very open and transparent. I would love for you guys to learn the way that I trade and then you go off and make money too. You know, that makes me feel good. I like to, I want to contribute to the world and somehow, and this is how I'm doing it, by sharing my trades. So let's get back to the stocks there though in Apple. The other thing that you're going to notice here is that I have these lines, but it's, my charts in general aren't overly uh, complicated. There's not a ton of things on here. 
what they are are exponential moving averages. So I want to know where price has been moving over a short period of time as well as a long period and I want to know how that price is behaving. So again, I'm always looking to make the decision about a directional bias is something moving higher, sideways, or lower. And clearly here in Apple, to me it looks like something is moving lower. So in terms of now making the decision to place a trade, this is where I'm now going to go to the options chain and make the decision about whether or not I want to actually buy a put here in Apple. So let's talk a little bit about how I use the options chain now. So first I've gone to the charts, I've made an assumption about where I think the direction of that stock's moving. Now I'm going to pull up the options chain. The options chain has tons of information on it, right? And it can be a little overwhelming for people. Next week when we're talking together as a group, I'm going to share with you more about how I read an options chain because we'll be speaking together during the live markets, which will also, again, be an opportunity for us to place trades. I mean, looking at that Apple chart right now, I would definitely like to buy a put in it and see Apple move lower. I already placed a trade in Apple last week. In fact, we placed the trade in the live room on Tuesday, and I had actually planned to hold it for a few days and, uh, and watch that move lower. Um, but I actually made my profit so quickly in it that we actually got out within the day. Um, generally, when I'm buying puts and calls, I'm, I like to, I prefer to hold them for a couple weeks um, and, and just really give it some time. But you guys have seen the market over the last little bit has been so volatile. We've been moving all over the place. So I've been actually hitting a lot of my profit targets pretty early on when I've been getting involved in directionals. So, you know, Apple, I already cashed in on last week in and out in the same day, not because I set it up to get out that day, but just because it happened so quickly because I was right. So again, it's about building consistency when you're doing directional strategies. The w Next week when we talk, um, I wanted to share more about credit spreads. I really wanted to be able to give you guys, arm you with information about not only how to trade directionally, which is what we're talking about today, but also how to take advantage of the volatility of premium that's there and how do you sell spreads. So we're going to talk about that next week. I just wanted to make sure you're getting, you're getting a nice um, amount of tools both today and next week so that you are all walking away with good information that you can actually trade. So when I'm pulling up the options chain, I believe that the options chain tells a story as well. You know, the previous speaker, he was talking about the same thing. It's very important. Market makers are out there, and they're obviously wanting the market to move. Everybody needs to buy and sell. That's how we make trades work. But that information on the options chain and what the market makers are willing to buy and sell, all that information can be used. It basically tells a story. It tells you within the probability there of where do they think right now that price is moving. So I like to respect those people. I think that they're professionals as well, and I believe we can all make money in the market, um, just as you can make money in the market. It's just a skill that you need to learn. I learned the skill. You can learn the skill. There's no secrets to trading. Um, but I think what's important is when you read the options chain, you want to understand that the market makers need to make money too, and so do we. So I want to be taking a good care of understanding the delta. I want to be buying options that have a higher delta. And so many of you might be thinking, okay, wait a second, Sarah, if you're talking about buying a put or a call with a higher uh, delta, that means it's going to be more expensive. I like the idea of buying something that's more out of the money, so I'm only having to risk you know, $20, $20 $30 to buy a put or buy a call. And we talk about that in the room. Most of the time in any of the directional trades that I'm placing in the live room with everybody, because again, people can also ask questions, and it's important to ask questions. But people will say, well, why don't you just buy an out-of-the-money call, buy a call or a put where you think the stock's going, because then it's not going to cost you as much. And being aware of delta will make a big difference because you and I can both be right. We can both look at Apple and say, here, let me pull up the chart again. We can both look at Apple and say, yeah, we think things are going lower. But the approach rate, again, you have so many choices with options, can be different. So right now, let's see, it's trading around 110. And we, if we both, you and I both agree that Apple's moving lower, I have choices. I can buy a 110 put, which is right at the money, right where price is moving. And then I can try to set my targets in my head and say, okay, I'm going to buy the 110, and when we see Apple down at 105, that's where I'm going to exit. Or, and, and that's going to cost me more money than somebody who's buying an out-of-the-money put. So let's say they say, yes, I think Apple is going down to 105, so I'm going to buy a 105 put. 
and then they get frustrated because when Apple does get down to 105, they haven't made as much money as I have because I bought a little in the money. So let's say I bought the 111 or the 115 put. There is an advantage, there is an edge to buying puts and calls with a higher delta. So that's really important. And then also to know on your options chain is that where is there a lot of open interest? Where are there other people buying and selling? And are any of those levels going to hurt you or help you in terms of where you think that that stock's moving? So this is another tip for you if you're trading directionally. So if you're buying a call and you're buying a put. What you want to do is take a look at how much it's going to cost you to get in the trade and then take a look at how much the stock is moving. If there is resistance there, if you add the cost of how much is buy, it's going to cost you to buy it to the price of where the stock's going, if there's resistance, then it might not be the best stock for you to be placing trades, and you might want to go look at a different one. So here in Apple, to me, this is like a great opportunity. This is moving lower on the five-minute chart, right? And there's no resistance down here. I would say there's, there's resistance at 105. We look here on the weekly chart of Apple, 105 has some resistance. So I love the idea of looking for this one. Apple also has that conference that's going on. I believe they had an announcement today around 1 o'clock. So we talked about this one in the room yesterday and today. I didn't want to get into it. I wanted to wait for that announcement. Looks like things actually push down a little bit lower. Again, very typical of Apple. Um, so we'll be looking in the trading room tomorrow. We'll be looking for an opportunity to pick this up. Uh, for a put and with a goal of seeing things move lower here in Apple. All right. So another thing you can use, especially if you have a TradeStation account, um, I do have an indicator. It's called the Foundations Indicator, and you'll see it there on my charts. Those are what the blue, blue, green, and red dots are. It's a, a really great way of taking a snapshot of how a chart is moving and whether or not it's really going to have a move, and it'll it'll trigger it for you. If you are a TradeStation um, user, just so you guys know, I, there's a they offer a free one-week trial of my indicator. Uh, so if you want to do that, you just have to go to the TradeStation App Store and you can get a free week, right? And I think it's always important that you get to use the tool yourself and make sure it's good for you and useful, right? Because that's really key. So most traders will buy uh, out of the money puts and calls and they get frustrated because they have limited success with that. And I would say to you, you can in increase your chance of success if you're trying to switch that around and you want to buy in the money. And generally what I'm doing is looking for deltas that are about 65. 65 is usually a nice little sweet spot. So if you don't have delta yet on your options chain, I encourage you to put it on there and start looking at how the options move when you're starting to purchase things that are in the money with a delta of about 65. Now, for me as well, another preference, we have a market that's moving so much right now. I have been uh, really doing really well in weekly options doesn't necessarily mean for the directionals that I have to get in and out within that week, although as I said, the market's been moving so much, we've been making a lot of money very quickly these days. Um, I generally want to buy directionals three or four weeks out. So I might buy a put in Apple tomorrow, but I want something that will expire about three weeks from now. I want to give it a little bit of time to have the move that I'm looking for. But I don't want it to have so much of a move that it gets away from me, right? So it's that, it's that balance. Um, as the, as the broad markets change how they're moving, then obviously I'm going to adjust the strategies that I'm using. But I have found that generally, because we're so volatile right now, because we're seeing the market move so much, these are going to work really well for me at the beginning. So as long as I'm right, which generally I am, and by the way, um, you guys are welcome to, if you want to come and try my room, especially before we meet next week, it'll probably be a really good opportunity. I have a promotion going on right now where you get two weeks of full access to my live room. That includes text alerts of entries and exits of my trades. Again, I'm all about being authentic. Last week we had six winning trades in the room. Um, and we're still holding two that look really great into this week. Um, when we, again, we're placing about six to eight options trades every every week in the room. And uh, or still, I don't know anyone else that's doing trades that we're do like we're doing these days with the consistent approach. Um, but you're welcome to join us for two weeks. Where it's a seven dollar trial, and it gives you full access to the room. And you 
you can check it out yourself. We also have a really great group of traders. Um, you know, the worst part about trading uh, by yourself is that you're in front of a computer all by yourself all day, right? And as much as you scream at the computer, <laughs> not much comes back. What's nice to be able to have a nice network of people um, that are also very supportive, sharing trading ideas, and we have a really great discussion. And most importantly, when you have a question about something, especially if you're learning to trade or you've been trading a long time and you're trying to really move to profitable trades week after week because you're you know, doing this for, for, to pay your bills or you're doing this for a certain type of life, um, you want to make sure that you can rely on consistency. And you want to make sure that you have a mentor or somebody who is actually putting their money where their mouth is, right? Uh, and and that's what I'm doing. In the room, you're always seeing, just like today, you're seeing my charts during the day and what we'll see next week is you're going to see my options chain, you're going to see me place actual trades, which is key. Just a few more minutes, I wanted to get through this one slide as well, is talking about a watch list because it's so important that I believe you want to be trading the right stocks. Um, last week I was doing a presentation. And in that presentation, people were asking me my opinion about different stocks. And as we pulled up different charts, it became very apparent that I realized that those people who were asking me about how a stock was moving weren't necessarily looking at the charts in terms of multiple time frames to see how things are moving. So I take you back to that example again here in Apple. This one has a direction. You can see that it's moving lower. But there are some times when you're going to see stocks that they're not really moving in a direction. So if you look here on Amazon, this one is kind of all over the place. It's in a long trend, it's higher on the weekly, it's sideways on the daily, it's kind of sideways on the 60 minute, it's down on the five, right? So when I look at this stock really quickly, this is not a stock that I want to get involved in for a directional trade right now. This is something that I want to sell a credit spread in. There's so much credit here on Amazon, it's just been really nice. We we'd had a great Amazon trade in the room last week as well, right? And it's because of how things are looking. So choose stocks that actually move. If you're trying to buy a, pu a put in a call because your assumption is that it's going to move, there's going to be momentum, then make sure you're getting involved in stocks that actually move. Set the odds in your favor first before you get involved in the trades. You know, too many people get involved in puts and calls because they think their $20 trade is going to turn into a $200 trade. And everything has to be relative, right? If we're trading something that is a volatile stock or that's high beta, like Apple, again, perfect example, right? I'm going to expect to make that money faster than something like um, IBM. So here, um, IBM or Microsoft even, let's talk about Microsoft. Microsoft is a cheaper stock. People like it. People talk about this one a lot. But look how it's been moving lately, and it's important to always look at how what's been happening in the history and making sure you're setting your profit targets within the historical data that you can see there. The information's there, we just have to collect it, right? So this is awesome information. When I'm looking at Microsoft and it's saying to me on the weekly chart that, you know what, we don't actually have a lot of room to go, and we're actually quite in the middle of where price has been. So we've seen Microsoft up between 46 and 48, and we've seen Microsoft down between 42 and 40, and right now it's pretty well in the middle of it. So I'm not getting get involved in Microsoft thinking that this is going to have a big move right now. Instead, I'm going to wait to see the move begin, and then I'm going to get into it. We might see it here. The indicator is beginning to fire, so we've got three blue dots on here that we might see Microsoft move lower, but we're going to have to wait and see. I'm not going to guess where the thing's going next. I'm going to wait for it to show me where it's going, and then I'm going to place a trade in it. That's how I keep the high probability of trades. And that's what everybody is looking for, right? You don't want to lose your money to the market. I like how, um, I think it was Dan that then the last presentation said, you don't want to donate money to the market. And he's absolutely right. We're not here to give donations to other traders. We're here to make money for us, right? We want to be the winners on the winning side of those trades. So for me, when I'm building my watch list, um, I like stocks that are vol volatile and have a high beta. Remember, don't be scared of stocks that move. Just be armed with the right evidence and information to get in them. I look for decent volume in stocks and in the options. So you're generally going to find me in trading stocks that you're recognizing. I'm not going to be in penny stocks. I'm not going to be on something that, you know, some the barber told me about this little tip and something's going to quadruple. I'm not all about that. I'm consistent trades every week. Um, 
I don't need a huge percentage of open interest at a particular strike, but I do want to be aware of open interest. Is there something out of whack on the options chain? And like I said, stocks that move right now, PCLN, Netflix, Apple, CMG, that's where you're going to see me. And I'm going to be protected, I'm going to be aware of my risk and reward because I'm applying the right strategy and I'm collecting really good evidence. So I'm going to right now put uh, in the chat room a, my website and specifically a promotion that I'm offering just for you guys. And this is just for people who are involved in the All-Stars. So it's www.shecantrade.com forward slash all-stars. Okay, so you can see it here now as well. And I'm offering two promotions for you because, again, everybody is going to be on different learning curves and where they are in terms of their trading. Are you somebody that already knows how to trade and you're looking for consistent trades week after week and you want to be in front of someone and learn from someone who's trading their real money with you? Um, then you can try the live room. The live trading room includes uh, trades that we're placing on the week. I'm always talking about risk reward is so important, always talking about strategy. What am I going to do if price does this? When will I get out? Why am I trading it? Why this strategy over the other? We have an awesome community of traders. So you can trial my live room. It gives you two weeks for only $7. After that, it's $197 a month. And generally, we have, you've more than made that money after only one week of trading. I also have, if you're newer to trading and newer to my style and approach of trading, then I would encourage you to take advantage of a package deal. So what I'm doing here is it gives you a month in my room. You get all the texts, entries, and exits, and you're getting a course. So you're getting a course of, to learn how to trade like I do, all for one ninety uh, for two hundred and fifty dollars. So generally that'd be about a six hundred dollar value, and it's half price, so it's two fifty. So if you're learning how to trade. Learn from someone who trades their real money. Learn from someone who actually has a master's of education. Um, then you want to pick the, the course package. If you already are trading and you want to see what I'm doing, then, then come and, uh, and see what we're doing here at SheCanTrade.com. You get a two-week trial for $7. And I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed because we we're an awesome trading room. If not, then I look forward to meeting all of you next week. Um, I would also encourage you to send me an email. If there are particular stocks that you would like me to discuss next week when we're talking about it, now my presentation for next week is to be more focused on credit spreads. So if you have particular stocks you want me to make sure I'm talking about next week, you just need to send me an email and I'll try to make sure that I'm including that in the presentation because I know that uh, everybody wants you know to, to get information that's relevant and timely for you based on what you're trading so I want to make sure that I can help you with that as well so send me an email info at shecantrade.com for that there's lots of stuff up on our website uh, with a lot of information about trading but honestly I understand what it's like to trade part-time and it's a different trading approach than somebody who is just trading on the floor. And my approach in it is different because I understand what it's like. I know what it's like to, to learn to trade, to, to throw out strategies that don't work, um, and to really test things that do work. Because I'm all about finding what other things, what's working and what isn't, and then making it better. Um, and that's why that's what we're doing in our room. So my time is up. We've gone through a lot of information. I hope you guys all found that helpful. Again, send me an email. I'm happy to answer questions for you. And the promotion, it's only about 24-hour promotion. So if you want the course, uh, so you want a free course as well as a full month in my room for um, $250, you need to go to the website, shecantrade.com forward slash allstars uh, to be able to take advantage of that. So happy trading, everybody, and we'll see you next week. I look forward to meeting you. And by the way, if you do bring my book, I will sign books as well next week as well. So how you can trade like a pro if you don't have it yet, I'm happy to sign it for you next week when we meet each other. All right, happy All trading, right. everybody. Thanks, Sarah. All right, everyone, a big thank you. Uh, so that was Sarah Potter for that great presentation. Um, the next presentation, Trading Puts and Calls with Consistency with the President and Chief Trader,